Right. Do you want Sophie? Uh, kia ora Fiona. Uh, kia ora everybody. Um, Fiona, and, uh, well, Fiona is uh, going to answer some questions around um, the new outdoor recreation unit standards uh, for us. Um, there are lots of people um, starting to ask questions, especially with all the planning days happening now. So um, we thought we'd put those questions together and answer them and hopefully this will be helpful uh, in regards to your planning for 2022 and the future with outdoor education. Sure. So, okay. Far away. All right. Uh, so our first question is um, the new outdoor recreation unit standards, when can they be used? So the new unit standards and the reviewed unit standards uh, are off with NZQA at the moment. Uh, they'll go through their process there and there'll be a bit of um, back and forth probably. And we're hoping they will be out um, and confirmed towards the end of this year. So um, people could be planning to use them from the start of next year. Uh, the uh, existing unit standards won't expire for two years. So um, there's no desperate panic. Um, you've got a good overlap there for using, getting those new standards ready. Okay, thank you. Um, and then the second question is, when can consent for CES be applied for? Um, and along with that, do you need to apply uh, if you already hold that same standard or that same domain? Okay, um, good question. Um, for the set of standards that's off with NZQA, 31 of them are reviewed standards. So they will have an existing number and they'll just become another version of that number. So if you hold consent for that number standard, um, you don't need to do anything. Um, you will just automatically be able to use the new version. Uh, if you hold um, consent um, at a domain level that some schools do, then um, that's you don't need to do anything either. Um, if that new unit is in that domain, you'll automatically um, have consent to assess it. There are 16 new standards, and at the moment, um, they don't have a number at all. They just have a letter until the, or letters until they come out of NZQA, and then they will have a number. And so you can't um, apply for consent to assess for those standards that don't have a number until they are approved and listed on the NZQA website. Um, so you need to, to wait for that to happen before you can apply for consent to assess for those standards. If you're looking for uh, to get consent to assess for one of the reviewed standards, it does have an existing number now, but you don't have consent for it. Uh, then you can start that process of getting consent for um, those standards. Uh, probably the first step um, in the consent to assess process is to actually um, double check the consents that you do hold. And you can do that really easily through the NZQA website. Uh, you just um, go to any standard uh, that, you, um, that you might want to hold consent for and click on the button around what organizations can assess against that standard. And it'll just give you the list um, of all of the schools that can um, assess that and the type of consent they hold, whether it's for the domain or for that particular standard. So that's a really good first step to work out exactly what you hold and whether it's individual consent uh, or uh, domain consent and whether um, some schools I know ring up and, and then start their process of applying to Skills Active and actually find out that they already have consent historically for a unit, even though they haven't been using it for a number of years. So worth checking that first. Mm. And also Skills Active recently sent out a um, update, didn't they, about um, if you are applying for consent to assess, um, that needs to be done by... Yes. September the 3rd? Yes, right at the start of September. Um, in, at the start of October, all of those um, consent to assess applications 
and pre and post moderation work is all going to be done by Toi Mai, the new Workforce Development Council, and um, no longer um, being done by Skills Active. So they've um, brought that deadline back a month to make sure they have time to um, process any applications that they get in the meantime. Um, so yeah, after September the 3rd, um, any pre or post moderation and any consent to assess applications will run through Toy Mai. And we're not quite sure what and, that um, looks like yet. Yeah, but we can uh, update everybody when we um, find out some more. Um, yeah, absolutely, cool. absolutely. Yeah. Cool, okay. Um, so with some of the new standards, there are the, 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 there are the core standards. Do we know what domain they will sit under if people are wondering if they've gone, you know, if they can apply for consent to assist now or just thinking yep. forward? Yeah, so all of the core standards at the moment just have letters, so they don't have a number yet. So you'd need to wait for them yep. to come back out of uh, NZQA, and they will all sit in the outdoor management domain. Well, okay. that's, that's the plan at the moment. That's um, yep. what's gone into NZQA. Hopefully that's what yep. NZQA agree with, but it's the outdoor management domain that all of those units will sit under. And Great. there's some discussion at the moment um, particularly with the cores at level one and two, um, there's some thought that maybe they will just be um, put in the base scope for schools. So schools won't need to apply for consent to assess for um, those level one and two core standards. Um, NZQA needs to agree um, with that concept. So um, once those standards are confirmed, we'll have a clearer idea about whether you will need consent to assess the core standards across all three levels, or whether it's just at level three that you would need to get consent to assess, and that the one and two level okay. would sit in a school's core. Um, all right. Um, okay. Um, my next question, which we've kind of already answered, um, was will Schools Active be doing the pre and post moderation and will they be selling resources? So we've answered the first part of that, but in terms of, um, yeah, resources, will there be resources um, and assessments uh, available to use next year and how can they be accessed? Um, do we have a cost at all? Uh, will they be available for all standards? Yeah. Uh, so. Um, EONS and Skills Active are just kind of finalising an agreement where we're going to work together to produce some resources. Um, the idea is that they will be ready for the start of next year, uh, but probably only in the um, main domain areas, uh, mountain biking, tramping, kayaking, uh, rock climbing, and the new core areas and then that will build on those um, over the next year and the following year, but we'll make sure that we've got those big main areas um, with uh, assessment standards that are pre-moderated and ready to go for the start of the year. Uh, Skills Active will continue to sell uh, the existing resources for the existing unit standards. Um, and then going forward, they're likely to develop um, resources into sort of packages that schools can purchase. EONS uh, will um, sell or develop um, some consortium type organized um, um, structure um, like we've had in the past uh, where schools can purchase individual standard resources and you'll be getting those off EONS rather than off Skills Active. Um, awesome. All the kind of costings and pricings um, yet to be decided on what those look like for eons, but likely to be as well, they will be as low cost as we can get them um, just to be able to maintain them, keep them pre moderated, and all of those kind of costs. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And um, there's lots of new information kind of, you know, coming in all the time. So, what is the best way for teachers to stay updated about um, all of this? Uh, make sure you're an EONS member. Um, jump onto our website. If you're not an EONS member already, join. 
um, and then you automatically get um, membership memos that update you on the really important stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the newsletter off um, the website as well. EONS members, that happens automatically for you, um, but other staff across the school can subscribe to that as well. And we'll just make sure we keep um, everyone up to date as soon as the standards get back out of NZQA, uh, as soon as resources are available for use as well. Awesome. Great. Well, I think that is all for now. And for those watching this, if you do have any further questions, um, feel free to email kaiarahi at eons.org.nz. Um, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Sophie. Happy planning, everyone. Thanks, Fiona. Yeah.